What is going on guys? Welcome back to another video here on my channel. And oh, thank you so much for that point. I know it's just a point, but it feels like a win. That is that is huge. That's huge. That feels like a turning point. Um we'll get on some of the players soon as well, but just we we I th I thought we played Wolves off the park. Um the shit housery from Wolves in the first 15 minutes after they score from an arsy goal, mind you, very arsy goal. Um, I thought, here we go again. I just, I just had that feel about it, like we we're, like we we're going to lose the game. Um, but look, but a point, a point in this situation is huge. We're now game clear of the bottom three, which sounds ridiculous, but it's a big thing. We've got Norwich coming up. We'll ask them the cup. Then we've got Norwich coming up, but Norwich is next, and they just got battered by Chelsea. Um, Wow, what just I did not think we'd pick up a point at all against Wolves. Wolves were a lot worse than I thought they were gonna be. I thought they shithoused all the way through after scoring an RC goal. Um time wasting, Connor Cody, just a wanker. Um Chan is on hot form, so the ball forced falls him. He's he's probably gonna you know, he's gonna finish those chances. Um we got to the players. Dallas had an average first half. But his second half was really, really, really good. Um, so I'm buzzing for the lad. Rafinha looks, looked quality as usual. Um, he looks like he's just sort of... There's no ceiling for him. He's going to keep getting better and better and better. Um, he goes off with an injury, though. So we'll see how, how bad that injury really is. Uh, fingers crossed it's not so bad. Um, but the replacement in, in uh, Somerville was... Oh, he, he, looked, he looked ridiculous as well. Getting on the end of the balls, whipping the in. Just didn't have the right person in the middle of the box to score. Um, is that a Bamford? I don't know. But, but probably, I think Bamford gets onto some of those, whether he scores or not. That's another question, but he gets onto them. Um, Joe Gellhard, what a performance. Just everywhere, causing issues. I did want, You do wonder these youngsters how they're going to go going to a Premier League team. And I spoke about it before a little bit, but it, this feels like the youngsters we brought in are not only for the future for the Premier League, but they've brought them in as a safeguard. If we do go down, we're going to have some quality players there that can tear up the championship that aren't going to leave us when we go down. Because obviously, if we were to get relegated, and I'm not saying we are, we are going to lose the likes of Robin Koch. Uh, I think someone will pick Stroik up. Um, we'd probably keep Cooper. Um, we'd keep Shackleton. Furpo would leave. Rodrigo would leave. Rafinha would leave. Um, Look, maybe Rodrigo doesn't because he hasn't really performed, but I think somebody picks him up. Um, Phillips, yeah, Phillips leaves. Uh, I think there's a few players there that, that leave. Dan James probably leaves as well, I'd say. Um, so we have players there. We know we have players there. Even Bamford might actually leave. He, he'd probably want to keep playing Premier League football, and somebody, after the way he's played, would pick him up. So Joe Gelhard looks like he's going to be if we were to go down, he would be the first choice. I think he would be fantastic in the championship. Um, but we're not there yet. So he's going to be fantastic in the Premier League for now. Um, I want to see him more often like that, come off the bench. Um, I know he's not made massive impacts, but he looked okay. Some of all the same, hasn't made a massive impact, but he looked really, really good. Both of them look fantastic. Sh Shackleton, I've raved about him from the start. He is fantastic on that right-hand side. Energetic, links up well with that right winger. Um, he was brilliant. Cooper was really good again today. I think he was also, him and Harrison were at fault for the goal. Um, but it is what it is. Probably more so Harrison in that situation was probably more at fault than Cooper. But it's just how big this is for us. It's just, it means, it means so much for us at this point. Um, I know it sounds stupid that I'm celebrating it like a win, but it does, it feels like a win. Um, it doesn't feel like we lost today. I, I feel like we deserve to win it. I think the referee was shocking again. Um, but, yeah, what this just means the world. And we've got Phillips coming back. I think Bamford's going to be out for San, for Norwich as well. So we've got those two to come back. Hopefully, fingers crossed, Rafinha's not too injured. Hopefully, it's just a knock. Um, but, wow. I think Stroik played okay in that DM role. Obviously, he's not the one to, to stay there, but he played okay. Um, Dallas, yeah, staking claim. Rodrigo was really, really good again today. 
Um, Dan James up forward in the first half didn't really do a lot. I think um, he struggled uh, because we were just pumping the ball long to him. So it's not it's not on him. That's not his fault. This is how we play football at times. It is just a bit sort of we'll hump it out the back to the forward to try and hold in um, for the counter, but it wasn't really working because he's only five foot five or something like that. So um, yeah, just just just, just uh, it, it, like I mean that's a negative, but. No, it's not really. None of it feels like a negative. I, I can't. I can't say anyone played poorly today. Everyone grafted. Everyone played well. Gelhard and Rodrigo really linked up really fantastically. Um, it's just it just felt feels like a relief getting a point there. I know it sounds so silly, but we can go to Norwich now. Feel a bit better because I just wanted a performance after that Southampton game. After we started the season poorly, we got a bit of a run going. We played well, and then it just halted against Southampton. We should we we on another day we beat Southampton, um, but then getting a point against Wolves who are in in good form as well, that's that's massive. Um, they're tenth and they could have been in the in the top half in the top um, in the Europe, the Europe places if they had to take if they had what beaten us today, um, I think they would have got, got close to the Europe places the European places. Um, I have to double check that. I think I looked I looked at it before and I think I calculated, but I've probably calculated three points instead of two. Um, but so they're in they're in good form. They're not a poor team. Um, but again, we like we did against West Ham. I thought we made them look look poor. I've seen people saying that we were we only played thirty minutes against West Ham. No, I felt like we were better the whole game. It was just little moments of West Ham just getting those goals and being and get and nicking the win. But yeah, oh, it, this just feels like a a massive weight has been lifted now. Um, Got to beat Norwich. That is a must win. There is no point there. That is win or nothing. We lose to Norwich or get a draw, and I still, I, I'm starting to doubt again. Um, and that's how fickle we can be. And that's just how fickle. Um, that's just how mentally draining the season is. Because last year it wasn't like that at all. Um, I always had faith because faith we played good football no matter what. We've been so uh, like different in every aspect. We've been. Some games really good but lost. Some games really good but only scored one goal against Watford. Some games just poor and, and got battered. Um, it's been such a wide variety of performance that I don't know what's going to come next. I don't know what Leeds turns up against Norwich. But look, I'm pretty confident we're going to win that. I think we'll win that like 3-1, 2-0 or something like that. But I'll do a video on that anyway as it comes close. We've got Arsenal in between. Let's see if we're performing against Arsenal. If we beat Arsenal in the Cup, that would be... They were pretty special. Um, whether we do or not, I don't know. They've come off a good win um, against the Villa. Um, but yeah, so it was just look overall, just I'm buzzing. This has just made my morning. Um, went to bed extremely tired after the game, but it's it's made my morning now. Um, waking up and just feeling like it didn't. I can watch the football and enjoy the football. I hate when leagues lose because I just watch other football and don't care. Um, I, I I enjoy watching football overall. So. Yeah, buzzing to get a point. Um, I think there's a clear gap between us and like the and those bottom three teams now. In a way of like, you can see that we're we're better than them. Um, I think it will be Burnley, Norwich, and uh, and probably Watford in those bottom three eventually. I think Newcastle climbs out of there, and Watford slowly slowly goes into it. But um, yeah, just just buzzing. I, I was rambling at this point, so I'll wrap the video up. Um, Drop me a like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you for the people who have uh, subscribed recently. It means a lot to me. Um, I'm just trying to march towards 100 subscribers and see where we go um, from there. Um, so yeah, help me out if you can with a like, a comment, and subscribe. Um, and just, just wow, <laughs> get uh, get in. Um, good start to the morning. I'm going to get coffee soon and, and really kickstart my Sunday. So um, appreciate again. Uh, leave a like, comment, subscribe, and peace.